Matashin Society. The Matashin Society, founded in 1950, was one of the earliest LGBT, gay rights, organizations in the United States, probably second only to Chicago's Society for Human Rights. Communist and labor activist Harry Hay formed the group with a collection of male friends in Los Angeles to protect and improve the rights of gay men. Branches formed in other cities and by 1961 the society had splintered into regional groups. At the beginning of gay rights protest, news on Cuban prison work camps for homosexuals inspired Matashin Society to organize protests at the United Nations and the White House, in 1965. In 2002, Matashin Midwest was inducted into the Chicago Gay and Lesbian Hall of Fame. A new Matashin Society of Washington, D.C. was formed in 2011 and is dedicated to original archival research of LGBT political history. Harry Hay conceived of the idea of a gay activist group in 1948. After signing a petition for Progressive Party presidential candidate Henry A. Wallace, Hay spoke with other gay men at a party about forming a gay support organization for him called Bachelors for Wallace. Encouraged by the response he received, Hay wrote the organizing principles that night, a document he referred to as the call. However, the men who had been interested at the party were less than enthusiastic the following morning. Over the next two years, Hay refined his idea, finally conceiving of an international, fraternal order to serve as a service and welfare organization devoted to the protection and improvement of society's androgynous minority. He planned to call this organization Bachelors Anonymous and envisioned it serving a similar function and purpose as Alcoholics Anonymous. Hay met Rudy Gernreich in July 1950. The two became partners, and Hay showed Gernreich the call. Gernreich, declaring the document the most dangerous thing, he had, ever read, became an enthusiastic financial supporter of the venture, although he did not lend his name to it, going instead by the initial R. Finally on November 11, 1950, Hay, Along with Gernreich and friends Dale Jennings and partners Bob Hall and Chuck Rowland, held the first meeting of the Matashin Society in Los Angeles, under the name Society of Fools. James Gruber and Conrad Stevens joined the society in April 1951 and they are generally considered to be original members. Also that month the group changed its name to Matashin Society, a name suggested by Gruber and chosen by Hay, after medieval French secret societies of masked men who through their anonymity, were empowered to criticize ruling monarchs with impunity. As Hay became more involved in his Matashin work, he correspondingly became more concerned that his orientation would negatively affect the CPUSA, which like most other organizations at the time was anti-homosexual and did not allow gay people to be members. Hay himself approached party leaders and recommended his own expulsion. The party decided to expel him as a security risk but declared him a lifelong friend of the people in recognition of his previous work for the party. Matashin was originally organized in similar structure to the Communist Party, with cells, oaths of secrecy and five different levels of membership, each of which required greater levels of involvement and commitment. As the organization grew, the levels were expected to subdivide into new cells, creating both the potential for horizontal and vertical growth. The founding members constituted the so-called Fifth Order and from the outset remained anonymous. Matashin's membership grew slowly at first but received a major boost in February 1952 when founder Jennings was arrested in a Los Angeles park and charged with lewd behavior. Often, men in Jennings' situation would simply plead guilty to the charge and hope to quietly rebuild their lives. Jennings and the rest of the Fifth Order saw the charges as a means to address the issue of police entrapment of homosexual men. The group began publicizing the case under the name Citizens Committee to Outlaw Entrapment, and the publicity it generated brought in financial support and volunteers. Jennings admitted during his trial to being a homosexual but insisted he was not guilty of the specific charge. The jury deadlocked and Matashin declared victory. The Matashin Society was named by Harry Hay at the suggestion of James Gruber, inspired by a French medieval and Renaissance mask group he had studied while preparing a course on the history of popular music for a workers' education project. In a 1976 interview with Jonathan Ned Katz, Hay was asked the origin of the name Matashin. He mentioned the medieval Renaissance French society's choices. This French group was named in turn after Mataxino, or the anglicized Matashino, a character in Italian theater. Mataxino was a kind of court jester, who would speak the truth to the king when nobody else would. The Matashin, from Arabic Mutawajjihin, Mask wearers, were originally Moorish Hispano Arab sword dancers who wore elaborate, colorful costumes and masks. 
the Matashin Society used so-called Harlequin diamonds as their emblem. The design consisted of four diamonds arranged in a pattern to form a larger diamond. Most of the Matashin founders were communists. As the Red Scare progressed, the association with communism concerned some members as well as supporter Sanhei, a dedicated member of the CP USA for 15 years, stepped down as the society's leader. Others were similarly ousted, and the leadership structure became influenced less by communism, replaced by a moderate ideology similar to that espoused by the liberal reformist civil rights organizations that existed for African Americans. Although Hay claimed never to have even heard of the earlier gay liberation struggle in Germany, by the people around Adolf Brandt, Magnus Hirschfeld and the Austrian-Hungarian Leontine Sagan, he is known to have talked about it with German emigres in America, including the Austrian-born Rudi Gernreich. The Matashin Society existed as a single national organization headquartered first in Los Angeles and then, beginning around 1956, in San Francisco. Outside of Los Angeles and San Francisco, chapters were established in New York, Washington, D.C., Chicago, and other locales. Due to internal disagreements, the national organization disbanded in 1961. The San Francisco National Chapter retained the name Matashin Society while the New York chapter became Matashin Society of New York Incorporated and was commonly known by its acronym MSNY. Other independent groups using the name Matashin were formed in Washington, D.C., Matashin Society of Washington, 1961, in Chicago, Matashin Midwest, 1965, and in Buffalo, Matashin Society of the Niagara Frontier, 1970. In 1963 Congressman John Doughty introduced a bill which resulted in congressional hearings to revoke the license for solicitation of funds of the Matashin Society of Washington, the license was not revoked. A largely amicable split within the National Society in 1952 resulted in a new organization called One Incorporated One Admitted Women and, together with Matashin, provided vital help to the daughters of Belitis in the launching of that group's magazine, the latter, in 1956. The Daughters of Bolitis were the counterpart lesbian organization to the Matashin Society, and the two organizations worked together on some campaigns, although their approaches to visibility in the mass media differed considerably. Under a different leadership, however, the Daughters of Bolitis came under attack in the early 1970s for siding with Matashin groups rather than with the new separatist feminist organizations. Also in the 1960s, the Matashin Society of New York was associated with other groups including the Matashin Society of Washington, INECO, East Coast Homophile Organizations, and, from 1966, along with Matashin Midwest, in NACHO, North American Conference of Homophile Organizations. The primary goals of the society were to, following the Jennings trial, the group expanded rapidly with founders estimating membership in California by May 1953 at over 2,000 with as many as 100 people joining a typical discussion group. Membership diversified, with more women and people from a broader political spectrum becoming involved. With that growth came concern about the radical left slant of the organization. In particular, how call and others out of San Francisco along with Ken Burns from Los Angeles wanted Matashin to amend its constitution to clarify its opposition to so-called subversive elements and to affirm that members were loyal to the United States and its laws, which declared homosexuality illegal. In an effort to preserve their vision of the organization, the Fifth Order members revealed their identities and resigned their leadership positions at Matashin's May 1953 convention. With the founders gone, call. Burns and other like-minded individuals stepped into the leadership void, and Matashin officially adopted non-confrontation as an organizational policy. Some historians argue that these changes reduced the effectiveness of this newly organized Matashin and led to a precipitous drop in membership and participation. Other historians contend that the Matashin Society between 1953 and 1966 was enormously effective as it published a magazine, developed relationships with allies in the fight for homosexual equality and influenced public opinion on the topic too. During the 1960s, the various unaffiliated Matashin societies, especially the Matashin Society in San Francisco and MSNY, were among the foremost gay rights groups in the United States, but beginning in the middle 1960s and, especially, following the Stonewall Riots of 1969, they began increasingly to be seen as too traditional, and not willing enough to be confrontational. Like the divide that occurred within the civil rights movement, the late 1960s and the 1970s brought a new generation of activists, 
many of whom felt that the gay rights movement needed to endorse a larger and more radical agenda to address other forms of oppression, the Vietnam War, and the sexual revolution. Several unaffiliated entities that went under the name Matt Hasheen eventually lost support or fell prey to internal division. In the Quantum Leap comic book titled, Up Against a Stone Wall, 1992, the Matt Hasheen Society and the Daughters of Bolitis are mentioned as two groups campaigning for LGBT rights prior to the Stonewall and riots. The 1995 film Stonewall included members of MSNY among its characters. Matt Hasheen members are seen leafleting, attending meetings and participating in the annual reminder picket in Philadelphia. In 2009 the Matt Hasheen Society and its founders became the subjects of the play The Temperamentals by John Moran. After workshop performances in 2009, the play opened off-Broadway at New World Stages in early 2010. The Temperamentals received a Drama Desk Award for Best Ensemble Cast. Michael Urie, who originated the role of Rudy Gernreich, received a Lucille Lortel Award for Outstanding Lead Actor. The Playboy Club, a 2011 television series on NBC. Includes a lesbian playboy bunny in a lavender marriage with a gay man. The two are members of the Chicago Matt Hasheen chapter. In 2015, Bar Matt Hasheen opened in downtown Los Angeles. Notes bibliography. Further reading. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.